You know, to, to come that close today, what would you just say is the most frustrating thing about the way things went down? Um, you know, it's just, it's frustrating to lose. It's frustrating to lose when I didn't have a, I didn't have any doubt that everyone on our team was battling with everything they got the whole game. And it's frustrating um, when stuff like that happens, you know, uh, just some, some untimely mistakes by, by everyone, you know, uh, falling off a block, allowing a quarterback to get hit from behind. Uh, that's on me. And that the most frustrating thing is just how hard we fought and, and coming up short. But at the same time, when you when you know you gave everything you got and you know you prepared as hard as you could and you were focused throughout the whole game, a loss is gonna sting, but we're gonna flip the page and we're gonna attack these next this next week and we're moving on. This was the second straight game where you guys had to settle for field goals a few times when you wanted touchdowns in the red zone. What would you say you could do a little bit better in that area moving forward? Uh, we just got to finish. We we just, as a whole offense, we got to finish. Um, can't get complacent. Can't think, oh, we're driving. We're in the red zone. We're going to just automatically score. We got to finish. We got to stay on blocks. We got to get displacement. We got to make plays and, and we got to score. And I have all the confidence in the world that uh, we're going to, we're going to work at it and we're going to, we're going to start doing it. John. Yeah, Noah, uh, just how, how did you feel? Will handled himself after the game and, and was taking the loss afterwards. Man, he's a, he's a hell of a competitor. So he's going to take a loss like that, you know, hard. Everyone on our team took that loss hard. Um, but a dude played his, his butt off today. He, he battled. He put us on his back, really. As a, as a true freshman, he was making plays all over the field. Uh, you know, you can look at whatever you want. People can say whatever they want. But that dude battled. And um, I'll, go, I'll go to battle with him any day of the week. And I, I know he's going to be stung by this loss. He's frustrated as hell. But like I said, he's going to flip the page tomorrow. And we're going to show up to work. And we're going to get better. What made the biggest difference in the ground game for you guys this week as opposed to last week against West Virginia? Um, You know, we just – West V, man, that, that wasn't our best game. That wasn't our – that was kind of something that we thought is that's not us up front. And so this week we just thought we'd take a little bit more ownership, put a little bit more responsibility on our shoulders to stay on blocks, get displacement, and and we improved. But it still it wasn't good enough to win. And at the end of the day, you got to play good enough to win. And we're going to take even more ownership on our shoulders, and we're going to continue to get better. We're going to be locked in these next two weeks, and we're going to be ready um, come two Saturdays from now. And we're going to learn from it. <laughs> Because, like I said, it was better today, but it's still not good enough. And we're going to get to the point where it is good enough to win. That's the most important thing. Appreciate it, Noah. Thanks. Thank you. Michael. Yeah, no, what was working in that zone read game and the QB pre progression as far as that went? Um, I'll have to take a look on film to see, you know, why we had so much success on keeps from Will. Uh, I can tell you up front, we got better displacement. We stayed on blocks better and we finished better. But like I said, we were not good enough yet. And we're going to keep working and we're going to stay together as a group and as a team. And we're going to learn from it. And uh, biggest thing is, is having that mindset every single week that it's going to be on us. And we're going to – every single person on this team is going to take ownership to win their one-on-ones, prepare as hard as they can, prepare <coughs> as uh, – as comprehensively as they can and uh, just keep playing hard, keep playing hard, keep finishing and, and win games in the fourth quarter. How would you grade the uh, offensive lines pass protection? 
uh, kind of like kind of like everything I've said today. Uh, I thought we played better than we did last week, but it wasn't good enough to win. And um, we got to keep getting better. It was it was uh, it was all right, but there's still too many times Will, that Will's getting hit, and there's too many times that he's having to hurry throws. And uh, that's all right, you know. But we're going to keep working at it. We're going to keep trying to get better at it. Thank you. Thank you. Last one here, Kellis. Yeah, no, um, going for two early in the in the game like you did today is kind of a gutsy move. As, as a player, when a coach says, hey, let's do this, stay out there on the field, let's get these two points or at least try for them, what, what's going through your mind in that situation? I'm on board. Let's go. Let's uh, let's make it a full, you know, full 14 point lead. Uh, I will never, ever, ever second guess any decision Coach Kleiman makes or Coach Mass makes. Um, you want to be, uh, they want to be aggressive. We want to be aggressive, and uh, it's all about opportunities and and taking advantage of opportunities when you had them. And those, we just we didn't finish. You know, we we maybe got a little bit uh, complacent after touchdowns and, and we didn't finish. And that's the biggest thing moving forward is we're going to keep working on that.